If you're wondering how to edit the very top section or the very bottom section of your Elementor website, this video is going to help you out. The top section of your website is called your header and is usually going to have your logo and your main navigation on it. The bottom section of your website is called your footer and usually has links to your privacy policy, your terms of service, and your social media links and your social media accounts. Sometimes it also includes another menu and contact information. In this video, we'll go over how to create and edit both of these sections, including how to make your header transparent and to stick it at the top of the page. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is head over to the Elementor Theme Builder. So go to Templates and then Theme Builder. And then you can click Add New in the top right or you can hover over Header and then click that plus sign. And this is where your header and footer templates are going to live. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a header template. And to do that, you can either click this add new button in the top right or hover over header over here and then click the plus sign icon. If you're using Elementor Pro, your blocks might pop up automatically with your library. Um, I'm gonna close out of this and just show you that you can build it from scratch if you want to. If you don't want to build it from scratch, go ahead and click the icon with the folder on it to go back here and go ahead and just pick a pre-made template to start out and hit insert. And then obviously you're gonna to wanna to make changes to this to match your site and don't forget to also make sure it looks good in all the different devices in responsive mode. If you need more help with responsive styles in Elementor, I have a tutorial for that and I will link that in the description below. If you want to make the background transparent, you would just um, select the section, go to style and make sure the background type is um, either you could just kind of click out of it and then the background will go away or if you want, you can do a level of transparency by clicking the color and then dragging this part right here. You can also make the header sticky um, by going to advanced motion effects and then choosing sticky um, to either go for the top or the bottom. And if you're not sure what that is, that means it's gonna stick to the top of the browser window, which I'll show you that when we test it. And you also have some other settings here that pop up when you do choose a sticky menu and you can decide if you want it shown on all the different device breakpoints or if you only want it to be sticky in certain devices. And when you're all done here, you're gonna hit publish and then it's going to tell you where do you wanna display your template. And this is important for headers um, and footers because you might want different headers and footers for different areas of your website. For example, if you're doing a landing page, you're not gonna wanna put a header with the full navigation like you do on the rest of your site. So go ahead and click the Add Condition button. And if you do want the header on your entire site, you would just leave it like this. I am getting a little um, error message pop up because I already have a header on the site. So I'm actually going to only include it on a singular page and a page I made for this tutorial called Test. So I'm gonna select that and then go to save and close. And it is updated. So let's go ahead and test that out. Here is my test page and when I refresh it, we have the correct header. And if we click the logo to go to my home page, you are going to see that the rest of the site has the other header. Let me go back to the test page and let me show you if you want to edit this header specifically from the page, this is how you would do it. You would hover over edit with Elementor. Now, if you just click edit with Elementor, you're gonna edit the actual page. If you wanna edit the header, you have to click on the header template and then you'll be right back here to make changes on the header. I do want you to note that you can change the header um, name by hitting the little settings icon in the bottom left and then changing the title right here. And then the footer is honestly going to be really exactly the same way, but I do wanna show you anyway, just so I can show you both parts in this video. So we're gonna exit out of here and then head back into the theme builder. And you'll see that that new header recreated is active right there now. So since we're doing basically the same thing, we'll do it in a different way and we'll click this add new link up here. And from here, since we are going to do a footer, we will click on the footer template icon. And just like before, we have lots of pre-made options with Elementor Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. 
And then another way to set the conditions on any of these templates is to click the arrow right next to the publish button and then click display conditions. And then we're going to add the condition that this is also going to be on the singular test page. And then, uh oh, I didn't select that, right? And then I'm going to click save and close. And now let's exit out of this and go back to the test page, which is right here. And you see now it has that footer also, but the main site still has its own regular footer. And that's it. Now you know how to make and edit headers and footers with Elementor Pro. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get your free download of my nine-step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll guide you through everything you need to do to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.